This game had Blair Witch looking vibes when I checked the trailers for it, and the quality of it seems pretty decent, so I thought I would try it out. Um, I think the premise is just we're going to a house, and guess what? It is haunted, just like all the houses I go to, so let's start playing. As a final year psychology student, you made the decision to start seeking your first professional job during the summer break, coming across a job ad with the title, I'm having trouble communicating with my daughter. She hasn't been herself lately. As we live quite far from any major cities, I'd like to invite someone to spend the summertime with us and help us understand each other better. You embrace the challenge. After a lengthy journey, you finally arrive at your destination. So I guess it's not quite a haunted house. Maybe it's a haunted daughter. I can hear us rolling up to a house, but we're still on the loading screen. Oh, here we go. I'm not in control of the vehicle. Which means I can look around. There's nothing else to see, though. Okay, it's a big place out in the woods. That's what we like to see. We know we're going to have a good time in this situation. Alright, do I have a flashlight? I don't- why didn't I bring a flashlight? I hate when my characters don't think to do that. I guess they don't know that they're in a horror game, so I guess it's fair that they didn't bring a flashlight yet, but... Oh! Okay, it's- okay. This is a good game already. Oh no, I can't see it though because of the lack of flashlight. It's a bummer. I'm still going to try to look for it. Uh, I hope it didn't just disappear. I'd like to pet it, but I don't think we can. So I'll just- maybe we'll see it later. Let's focus on... Because at this point I would usually like do a perimeter sweep. That's what I usually do in every game. But this place is pretty big, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that this time. But I'm gonna do it. Alright, they've cut down a lot of trees, I see. Is that another cat back here? One second, I thought I saw a cat moving over here, but it's so dark and shadowy that maybe I imagined it. Okay, we can't enter that way. I assume we just knock on the front door. I just like said I'm doing a perimeter sweep real quick first before I try to enter. So I can see where all the exits are and where I could run off to. If we had a flashlight, we could go off in that direction. I hear something walking and it's not me. We're gonna assume it's another cat. Okay. I like that idea. Oh, oh, there's a cat. I, I do hear some weird whispering though. It just stopped. If you didn't have headphones on, you probably wouldn't have heard the whispering. And if you're watching an indie horror game, you should always have headphones on, in my opinion. All right, let me try to get into this house now that I think I've explored the best of my ability the outside of it. Did I just see glowing eyes for a second over there? Not sure. I think it was just the shine from the furniture that I saw and I just confused it. Is there a door here? Because it seems to imply that maybe there is since there's stairs that lead here, but... Just that gnome's a bit suspicious looking. Hello. Are these footprints or... Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna die if I stay out here, so I'm gonna try to go inside now. I'm gonna ignore the noises. Alright, but so far it seems pretty good. Like, there's already some scares outside and I don't think I'm even supposed to be outside, but they still accounted for that. There's another creepy gnome. Right, let me try this door. Oh, okay. Um, I guess my next guess would be looking around for a key. Like maybe they were like, oh, well, you left a key in a flower pot for you. Because that's happened a few times, so. I think there's supposed to be a door here, or not. I was gonna say, I think there's supposed to be a door right here, but I can't see it if there is. I guess I could also try all the windows. That's like another idea. I 
I don't even know where I left my car at this point. Escape isn't an option anymore. Then there's this area, which looks like it could be a path if I had once again a flashlight. But I do also hear something walking around out there that unfortunately I do not think is just a cat, so... Okay, I think that was just me. I, mean, I can't go over this bunch of trash that they have here. Oh, but maybe I can uh, open this? No? Yeah, I, I really have no idea what the plan is right now. Like I said, I guess it's just hope that there's like some keys in a flower pot. There was a lot of activity in the back, so I'm assuming that we actually were supposed to go to the back. And I just missed out on whatever the extra things were that were supposed to happen that would give me access to the house. Cute elephants. Patio furniture. Oh, is this open now? Oh, this wasn't open before. Ah, okay. Hello, is anyone home? Alright, let's uh, close that behind us. I don't think that's gonna protect us much, but um, especially since it's glass. But I'll pretend. Ooh, is that candy bar? Uh, let me see, what does that say exactly? Highway. Oh, also there's a note right here. That's probably more important. Thank you for taking on this role and assisting my daughter, Mia. Oh, the mom just bailed. She left me alone. I've stepped out briefly, but will return soon. Please feel at ease and take the time to acquaint yourself with Maya. P.S. In one of the drawers in your upstairs bedroom, you'll find a document that requires your signature. It's a formality necessary for securing a partial refund to cover therapy expenses. Kindly sign it, if you will. I'm gonna say we shouldn't sign it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna say something like, You accept that you might die in this house, and you have to be okay with that. And I'm not, so... I'm just eating these. I don't think the note said I could eat these, but I'm eating them. Do they have any other food for me? Because I'll eat it all. The sound you hear is my own cat making noise in my room. Oh, yes, let's eat this too. Oh, they're going to be so mad when they get home. <laughs> I'm literally going to eat everything, bro. Like, I already know that they sent me here to die, so I might as well have my last meal. Make it extravagant. Alright, I don't think they have any other food in the cupboards, but of course I'm gonna check that fridge in a second. What's that? That almost looks like a snack, but I can't reach it. I'm just hearing some weird noises, but I'm focused on my mission to eat all the snacks. Okay. Let's check the fridge. Alright, we got some more milk. That's for me. Right, right into my mouth. Hopefully we're not lactose intolerant. That'd be pretty funny. Just all of this. That one too. We're a very quick drinker, that's good. Can we eat this single egg? Can I crouch? Ooh, that's not the crouch button. Main menu. Oh fuck me, I didn't go. No! Oh my god. Continue. Jesus. Okay. I think I have to reread this note. But and I have to re-eat all the food to make them mad. Ah, must quickly eat. Eat this. Eat this. Eat it fast. Wait, close the door. Okay. Drink the milk. Read the note. Alright, I actually won't actually go back and eat everything, but... Let me just look at what else was in the fridge. I won't eat it, I promise, but I just want to see. What's that at the bottom? Once okay, let me try to find the correct crouch button. Okay, I don't think there's a crouch button in the game, so... I don't want to risk closing out the game, too. Alright. What are we got in here? I don't think there's supposed to be multiple endings to this game, because I was actually wondering if- Oh, the secret room here that we're already finding. I was gonna say, I wonder if eating all the food or not eating all the food uh, determines whether you get good end or bad end. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure there is not multiple endings. But I am slightly concerned that I can already access the spooky basement and maybe I shouldn't yet. Maybe it's too soon for this, but here we go. I don't have a flashlight though. Okay, well, I assume we're gonna- f oh, actually, there's some light here. Okay, cuz like, why would I stay at this point? To help Maya? I don't even know Maya. Okay, let me see what we got here. Okay, we got some cute little coffins. 
Oh, there's a note or something? Entry, 29th, April 12th, 1984. Maya is no longer entirely human. Her body looks as if it was burned. She says it hurts every day, but she's alive. Hmm. Okay. Entry 43. My husband is gone. He sacrificed himself. My beloved Jack Jassic. Oh, there's a picture. I assume that's the parents. So they did some sort of ritual for her, but why? It's, it certainly backfired. Okay, well, we have some backstory now. Kind of. Let me just see if I can figure out how to go back upstairs. Alright, here we go. Okay. Well. That was none of my business, to be honest with you. I'm gonna see if we can find a flashlight. Oh, are those scissors? Because I wouldn't mind scissors. Alright, never mind. I assume this is supposed to be a picture of the daughter and the mother. Oh, we can turn that on. Nice. Oh, that just casually came off the wall. I assume that's a code to something we're gonna need to remember, so I'm just gonna take a picture of it real quick with my phone. <sighs> okay. Just getting the camera ready. Alright. Took a picture. Now I can keep looking around. Oh, there's a note. Entry 3. Recently we've learned a lot what happened in this area in the Middle Ages. We believe that it's somehow connected to what's happening to Maya. We're still doing more research. So this was like a year before the other two entries that I saw in the basement. And also that makes me think that there's like over 40 entries that I need to find and read. Which is a lot. In 1486, arguably the most famous handbook for witch hunters was published, The Something Something, authored by Something Something, um, and Something. Along with this work came the establishment of an entire prosecutorial, investigative, and medical system as it was believed that physicians could distinguish between cases of devilry and somatic defects. Confessions were considered the primary evidence merely pointing out subsequent suspects by a convicted individual known as naming was sufficient for accusation. Testimonies from children were particularly valued as they were considered innocent and untainted witnesses, even if they confessed to witchcraft themselves. Okay. And I got an achievement that says you better understand the history of burning witches at the stake. Oh, why is this- god damn it. Of course the store is wide open now. <sighs> Did a cat get in? Because I don't mind that, but I'm worried about other things getting in. Alright, um, I think I'm almost done with this bottom floor. Obviously I know it's like upstairs that we're supposed to go to to sign that waiver, which I really should not sign. Oh, okay, great. Good thing we are exploring. Alright, let me take a picture of it. Okay. Put that down. So we need like three more numbers, I think. Or at least two, and then we can just guess the last one. That wouldn't like be too difficult. <sighs> come on. Where'd that even come from? I see some shattered glass over here, so I'm thinking maybe it happened over here. But I'm the whole place is a mess, so it's, I can't be certain. Okay. It's weird. Okay, it's taking it slow and steady so I don't miss any potential clues to more numbers. And I can't really see- oh, look, scratching post and stuff for the cats, how nice. Alright, I can't really see what's going on over here too much. Oh wait, there's a light switch. What the hell is that noise? Okay, anyways, you can see a little bit better now. Let's see if there's anything of note around here. Like a literal note. Oh, that's cute. Oh, they got the toys for the cats in here? Nice. Oh, I didn't notice this. Maya has been behaving strangely lately. She locks herself in her room. She doesn't speak, doesn't eat. Okay. Like, I don't think we really need more entries about Maya, to be honest with you. I wouldn't mind more story and more details, but... 
We already know what's happening here, like 100%. There's no mystery anymore, so. All right, before I read that note, I was just looking for another potential number. What is happening to my daughter's skin? She's changing, she's completely changing. All right, I think we are good to go unless this painting like wants to drop off here and reveal another number to the code, but I guess not. All right, let me also just real quick, let me look upward real quick. Um, Make sure this painting can't be taken off the wall and behind it is another number. Okay, it seems like that isn't the case, so we can go upstairs. We only found two numbers down here, so hopefully that means upstairs there's the rest of the three are there, or at least two, like I said. Because I don't really know where else I could potentially find the numbers I need. Alright, I'm pretty sure Maya's upstairs, so I'm not like super keen on going up there, but... Wait a second. Look at that spooky doll. Huh. Maya, are you here? I'm your buddy. We can be fr Oh, hi. Alright, seems like she ran off from me, but I don't mind. I'm not ready to deal with her at the moment. Yes, we can finally pet it. And the achievement for it says you met the true owner of this house. How cute. Oh man, I wish this petting was more satisfying. Oh well, it's something. Okay, so I, I assume one of these two rooms is probably mine and where the document I'm supposed to sign is. Whispers are coming from the woods. We tried with Jack Jassic to find their source, but without success. Okay. Also, there's just random billiard balls all over the place. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Billiards balls. A hat. Why, why this hat? Oh, okay. Now we just need like one more number. Ideally two, that make life slightly easier, but just one more would do it. All right, just crab in the picture of that with my phone. Okay, we're gonna need a key for that. And I think we can try this door. Okay, we're gonna turn on a light switch real quick, if you don't mind. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is my room that I'm supposed to be staying in. <laughs> I just closed the door on myself, okay. This way. There you go, that's better. Can't really see into this corner much, um, but I guess it's fine. Does our TV work? Probably no. Can we open the wardrobe? Nope. Scratching post though. Alright, let's see what we got in here. We on need- what was that? A Okay, I got excited for a second. I thought maybe I saw like a hint of a flashlight, but nope. All right, we got some nail polish. I don't think I need to apply this at the moment. Okay, this probably isn't my room. This is probably like the mom's room. So I feel kind of rude being in here now. Uh, as the un- wait, as the un- Undersigned, I affirm my willingness to aid Maya. Her challenges pose no difficulty to me. I am equipped to manage them and assume responsibility in return for the service. I am to receive compensation. Perhaps each region of the country has its own regulations. I'll sign. Ugh. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, this uh, paper that we were supposed to sign. And it's not even like an actual official legal document, so it's not like our signature is going to really mean anything too much. Oh, okay, that makes life easier. Okay, close that if we can. I don't care about that. Who's even gonna come collect this? The mom's not here to grab that. Maya's not in her right mind. We're just doing that for fun at this point. All right, before I leave, I'm just looking around once again for another random number. Okay, I don't think we're gonna find it in here, but I just wanna be sure. Okay, I think we're good in here. I, I feel confident that- oh! I was gonna say, I don't recall that being open before. Maya, are you in there? Because I'm supposed to help you out. You have to stop being shy. You have to let me help you. Alright, we'll leave her alone. <laughs> I hate the way we open doors. Way too aggressive. Alright, anything with the clock? No? Okay, what about this painting? 
Oh, a bathroom. Okay. I'll close that behind me. Huh. Can I move this? Okay, that's better. Why you leave this in here? Hey, a key! Maybe that's to the little block box outside of here. Why'd they put three leaves in here? Are those bath bombs? I think that's supposed to be a cat litter box without litter in it. Toilet. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything else is in here for me. Let me just look at the ceiling. Just want to absolutely make sure I'm not missing anything because sometimes games will be really funny and put something on the ceiling or somewhere super unexpected that makes zero sense because they love seeing you be stuck for an hour or something. I don't know. All right, let's see if this works here. Do I need this? I feel like we don't need this for anything. I feel like it's bad for us to have this even. Did we just drop it? All right, well, we have this. Maybe we can use it on Maya? We'll see. All right, it's time to go up. Okay, I kind of see a f light switch glinting here. Okay, carefully look around. Okay, it's all good. All right, so this is the last floor, so Maya has to be up here. And that's a little concerning. Okay, we got some darts, but um, we also have another note. Someone was outside. They appear outside the window, but every time we go out with Jack, we can't find anyone. Okay, which room would I guess she's in? I don't know. Because I want to avoid that room, so... Special edition. Okay, so we have pretty much, like, we don't literally have all the numbers, but we have enough of the numbers to get by now. possible they don't even intend to give you the final number and they do want you to just guess the last number. All right I'm gonna go with this room first. Okay it's locked good. This room first is what I'm okay, okay they're both locked. I don't recall seeing anything that required this code though because like I would think then that now the game wants me to go open whatever I can with the code I now have, but besides that one lockbox that I used a key on, there's nothing else that's been locked. And, aside from these doors too, but obviously these aren't taking codes. Alright, I guess I'm gonna head back down and see if I missed anything. Careful, careful. Okay. Um... I don't think I missed anything. The music is changing. Okay, th there certainly wasn't anything in here. Let me check this room one more time. Oh yeah, there was someone in here, but... I don't think there's anything in here that requires a code to open. Alright, let's go back downstairs. Maybe it's even something outside. I think I can still go outside, so... Or maybe I'm supposed to eat and drink all the food? I'm kidding, of course, but... It's a thought. Because this code makes me think that we're trying to, like, open a safe. But... Like I said, I haven't seen any safe around. Oh, actually I didn't catch this. With sadness, we announced that on June 7th, 1986, a resident of our village, Jasik K, took his own life, according to colleagues. Mr. Jasik, once a cheerful and happy person, had been behaving strangely for some time. The entire editorial team extends sincere condolences to Jasik's family. Hmm, the newspaper is from almost three years ago. Alright. Cause we did miss that so oh it's quite cold tonight i'd better light the fireplace with what babe find some firewood to fi light the fireplace um one second what's that glowing thing over here oh it's just the ball i would think the firewood would be outside 
but people also usually have some firewood nearby on hand in their homes. And I'm not seeing that. Oh, cat again. Hell yeah. Hello. How are you? Do you want some toys? Because there's toys here. I can't grab them though. Okay, I just heard some weird whispering for a second there, but it's fine. Alright, I guess I am going to try to go outside for the firewood because I'll do a quick sweep of the bottom floor, but if there's none on the bottom floor then certainly there wouldn't be any upstairs. That would be a weird ass place to store firewood. Alright, I'm going to head to the back. Oh, one second. Let me just look in that corner. Okay. Alright, um... Oh, another cat. Hell yeah. How are you? I can't, I can't pet this one, unfortunately. Um, do you know where the firewood is? You live here, right? So you should know. Like, there's so many trees cut down, they should have like a gazillion years worth of firewood. Is that firewood? Hmm. Oh, what's that? <laughs> that seems new. I sure am not loving these noises I'm hearing. What does that say? I'm not sure. Um. Okay. Yeah, things have definitely gotten spookier out here since the last time I was out here. Okay, I'm just trying to look for some firewood, but I'll admit I keep getting distracted. Alright, that's not firewood. Those are a bunch of bricks. Never mind. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, we're gonna have to go back the other way. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna jog. I'm gonna jog. Alright, so my educated guess originally was that the firewood would be somewhere like around here. But I'm not seeing anything, so I don't know. How about in here? Oh, that looks like firewood to me. Cause do we just need one? I'll just I'll grab all of it, I guess. Okay, it looks like that's all we need actually. Find a lighter to light the fireplace. I feel like that's not a good enough of an objective to have, like or not specific enough, I guess I should say. Because finding one little lighter in this entire place, on the outside and inside, on all three floors, is like gonna be a tall task, I feel like. Practically needle in haystack style. Alright, I'm gonna look around out here first before I go inside. Because when people have like parties in their backyards, people leave lighters out on tables like those. So that's what I'm like kind of hoping for. And then my next guess is that it's somewhere in the kitchen inside the house. And then after that I guess I'll just have to awkwardly go room to room looking for it. Alright, I think I am gonna go ahead and go inside in a moment. Can I enter through this way? Okay. That's a problem. Let's just close this real quick block off my escape exit seems like a good plan to me. Yo, what are you doing? Stop it. You're being weird. Imagine if I had seen that when I was outside, I would have been so spooked. Alright, I don't, I don't know if someone's actually under there or if it's just like one of those things people use to make dresses. I forget what it's called. Uh, thought it moved for a second, but it's just my imagination. Alright, well it's minding its business, so I'm gonna mind my business and just worry about this lighter for now. Alright, so my guess was, my first guess was, well can I not just use the can- oh wait, it's right here. <laughs> right in front of my face. Alright. I did the objective, so clear off the- oh it's gone. That implies there was indeed someone under there. 
Do I need to put more? Oh, okay, I see. I was wondering why the objective wasn't clearing itself out. Alright, I think that's all the wood I got. I'm gonna look behind me again. Okay, everything looks good. Looks normal. Are we gonna have a new objective or... Was oh, it's gone. I was gonna say, was that always there? Where's the knocking coming from? I, I don't know. I guess I'll look out all the windows. Okay, I don't see anything there. It's kind of hard to see anything out these ones. Like, most of these windows are kind of blocked off a little bit. Like, there's a bunch of stuff in front of every single window. Strange, it looks like someone is by my car. Uh, I cannot really see that that good, but I'll trust you on that. Let's go check it out. Luckily her car light's on, so that'll make this easier. Someone is in my car. How suspicious. Let's uh, jog on to it so they don't run off. No! Hey, wait, don't drive away. That's my car and there's only crazy people here. All right, let me try to catch- Oh, I can't catch up. There's an invisible wall. All right. I'm just gonna run back into the house. Not that it's particularly safe in here, but why are the lights off in here? How do we turn them back on? Get it back on. Okay. Is it my imagination or are more and more of these starting to appear? These pentagrams on the ceiling. Okay, we're seeing the same thing, right? That's actually a pretty cute moose. How are you, moose? It has red eyes though, which makes me think it's an evil moose. Um, can I see it better? Oh shit, is there another moose? Bro, what the hell? Oh, hi cat. Just gonna give you a patty waddy. There you go, it's for you. Oh, actually no, its eyes don't look red. They look like normal moose eyes, kind of. Should I go out there? I mean, that's that's a dumb idea. Why would I say that? Moose are like, even if they're not evil mooses, mooses are very deadly. And it's very dangerous to go up to a wild moose, so don't do that. But <sighs> I don't think that was a moose, to be honest with you. I think that was a ghost woman. I'm gonna- oh, I can't unlock this. Which is good, because like I said, I was probably just gonna get myself killed by normal moose. And I would have set a really bad example. For everyone here. Okay, anyways, um... Oh, you want to leave? I mean... Oh, there's another moose over here. Sorry, little buddy. I don't know if I can open this for you. Oh, oh, oh. That, she's pretty big. Wait, where'd the cat go? Did the cat leave? Should I should I go after her? <laughs> what am I going to do against the ghost? I don't know, but this is my chance to look at the moose. Oh, where'd the moose go? It was just here. Let me go see if the moose are still in the back. Alright, I'm not seeing any moose, unfortunately. Aw oh, man, they all left. I was finally freed. Me and the cat were free to go chase them. Alright, um... Let me go back through the front. Alright, well, it's a little dangerous, but let me actually try to follow the direction that the giant ghost woman went in. Like I said, I know that sounds like a bad plan on paper, but um... Just give me a second. Alright, I'll be able to find my way back because it's nice and bright over here. I just need to make sure I'm going in a straight line this way. Okay, I'm walking. I'm walking. The whispering's getting slightly louder. This might be a bad plan. I might actually end up dying. Oh, I forgot there's an invisible wall that stops me from going too far. Okay, never mind. Let me go back. Okay, I guess we'll go back in the house now. I don't think there's anything else outside for me. Alright, let's see if any new objective pops up. Is that a bird or...? I think that's the front door, right? Did they leave anything for me? Hmm. Okay, never mind. Just gonna close that bag up. Alright, let's see if anything else is off in here. 
Um. You see anything out there, little buddy? Oh wait, actually I do. Oh, the moose is back. Hi. It looks like a smaller lady moose, maybe? Oh, the moose over here. Oh, wait a second. It's just look at this shadow. Why does that shadow look like that? Is it supposed to look like that? It looks like there's a big evil entity over here that I can't see causing this shadow. How awkward. We won't worry about it though. Okay. Is it like- are there multiple cats in this building that look exactly the same? Or is this cat teleporting all over the place? Alright, I think I'm gonna finally try to head up and see if anything is different upstairs. Oh, the cat's kind of looking towards that- is that the same cat? Yo, who's knocking? Which, which way are they knocking? I think this way? I think I saw like a hint of a wisp of hair walking by. Okay, that's still locked though. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll go up the stairs in a second. I just- oh, hi moose. Like, which window are they knocking on? There's so many windows! I don't even know if that's just a normal occurrence now in the game, the windows being knocked on, and I should just consider that kind of like ambient noise and not something to investigate. Because that could be the case. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna go upstairs in a sec. I just- I'm checking all the windows once more since they were knocked on and everything, so... Alright. Let me go pet this other cat real quick, and then we'll go up. Petting, 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 petting. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to get the purring out of it. Gives me its blessing. Oh, there's another cat. And it's also facing up. Honestly, that does kind of look- oh god. Okay, there there's definitely something going on with the shocks and shadows. That isn't normal. Who is that? That's not me. It's not the cat either. Should I go in there? Oh, the shadow's talking to me. Hello? What do you wish for? I'm here to help with your psychiatry needs. Do you want to talk about it? Whatever's going on? Okay, well... We'll keep moving. Let me just check my room real quick because I feel like I recall leaving the store closed and now it is open. But I, I could have forgotten. Oh, th I don't think this was here before. Hello? Oh. Hello? Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over here real quick. Can we see the mooses from here? I don't think we can. Can I turn this on yet? Nope. Uh, no, I can't see the mooses. I think they went away again. Okay, we'll worry about that later. We're just gonna follow the cats, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Oh, never mind. I got excited for a sec. Oh, well, things are slightly different in here. This wasn't in here before. Are the cats doing this? Are the cats just trolling me? Okay. All right, let's go up the stairs. Let's just once again get the cat blessing real quick. Oh. Where the hell did that knocking come from? It kind of sounds like it's coming from up here, actually. Oh, it is. Oh. Okay, that's a weird looking doll. Do we got a light switch in here? Because I would love that right now. Ah, it's better. Slightly better. Let's look in the dark corners. Oh, goodness. Oh, look good. The door closed behind me. I love that for me. Let's get the cat blessing real quick. Just gotta have to keep petting it until it starts purring. Um, okay, there you go. Oh, hey, there's the final number. Okay, so five goes in the middle. I think I can remember that on my own without taking a picture. Five in the middle. Five in the middle. Oh wait, do we want to leave that on? Okay, I'm a little nervous. You're chill, right? Nothing wrong with you. Alright, I think we have to go ahead and read this. Hi, my name is Mia. Although my mom calls me Cursed Mia ever since it happened. That's not nice. I'm glad you got rid of the car and decided to stay with me. I'm so happy that you're here. This is not my cat. 
I mean, it's my cat then, damn. All right. Anything else, Mia? I mean, at least she's trying to talk to me. That's nice. She thinks I'm the one that got rid of my car, though. So that makes me think maybe she's not aware that the woods are haunted. I don't, I don't know. Okay, what's the plan now? I guess I could try to enter that other room. Yeah, there's still one more room that's locked. Oh, actually, I didn't even see this. Uh, I don't know what to do anymore. The curse cannot be lifted. My Mia only sometimes remembers who she really is. Okay, I was thinking- oh, thought the cat was something else for a second. But yes, Mia seems like she is part Mia and part demon witch. And she's not aware of that somehow. Mia? Uh, who are you directing that at? Because it seemed like he was saying that down to the stairs. Oh, that's weird. I just saw a light flicker off in the distance, but it, it went away. I wonder what that was. Okay, I'm gonna go up to this thing. Hello. Okay. And then let me try this room again. Nope, still locked. Okay, let's go downstairs because that's where he was positioning himself. I don't know if actually I'm a guy. I think I'm a guy. I can't see my body, so... But I think when I was doing the firewood, it looked like they had man hands and arms, so I'm assuming we're a guy then. Alright, we're gonna have to go into the darkness, which like sucks, so... Okay. It's just the try- oh god. I'm gonna need them to stop doing that. It's too spooky for that. Alright, let me just look in here real quick again, because I know we got these buddies right here. That's not a new note, is it? Nope. Okay. I just want to see if there's a mirror in here, because then maybe we can confirm if I'm a guy or not. And I don't have a reflection, so never mind. I can't even see my shadow. Usually you can at least see your shadow. Alright, you ready for scares, buddies? Okay, that's better. Okay, it's spooky in here, but we're gonna get by. Okay, they're playing games with me, but I can play better. Can I just look around this room real quick before I continue? Alright, the next light switch is over here, no problem. Easy. I'm a pro gamer. Alright, what's the plan now? Oh, what did they just turn off? I don't care about that, I'm staying over here. Oh, Maya, what is that? Okay. Okay, slight startling, but it's fine. Let me check all these books that are around. Okay, the moose are not around at the moment. I wish they were. They actually bring some comfort, I'd say. Alright, where's the light switch in here? I think right over here. Okay, turn that back on. Hmm. I think about where Mia is. I still haven't come across anything to unlock too. So it's a bummer we found all the numbers and can't do anything with them. Okay, we're gonna pretend this is good Mia right now, so there's like no reason to be scared. Just have fun, you know? Enjoy our game of tag or hide and seek. I don't know what you want to call it. Also, this keeps appearing on the walls randomly, but then also disappearing. Huh, is that new? It is. What? Is, what is this? Oh, it's dresser. It wants me to go to a dresser that looks like this. I think this is maybe the dresser in the room I'm staying at, but I'm not 100% sure. But that's where I'm gonna go look. And of course, I'll be on the lookout for it in other places while I'm heading that way. Alright. Haven't seen a cat in a bit. They also bring me comfort, even if they're working for the witches. I'm vegan, so like, they're probably gonna be lenient on me, is my guess. Alright, let's uh, go look for this dresser. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, no me, I can I can handle this. I can see that it said save me on the ceiling. I don't know if it still says that. It doesn't. But I'll do I'll do it. I'll save you. That's what I got a license for, was to do psychiatry to save people. Alright. Okay, it's not actually that dresser after all. It's it's a little similar looking. Oh fuck. Maybe it is this one then? Oh yeah, here's a Is there a fucking spooky ass shadow behind me? Armchair. What armchair though? The fuck? Oh, yeah, that's shadow. Like ran up behind me, but is actually in front of me. 
Alright, let me look at the armchair again. I feel like I recall seeing this armchair somewhere, but it's, I'm having a hard time seeing it because of the stupid shadow. Alright. Pretty sure it's not in here. I think it's downstairs, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so like, don't get upset if I'm wrong about that. The light's off back here again, so that makes me think this is the right direction to be going. It could even be outside the armchair that I'm thinking of. That's true, that's true. I don't think it's in the basement. I don't recall seeing any chairs chairs in the basement. Um huh. It's possible that banging came from the basement door though. So if I can't find the chair anywhere else, then yeah, I'll check the basement. But as of right now I would love to avoid the basement. Like, cause that kind of looks like that could maybe be the chair. But let me just keep looking around here first. And then I'll check outside. And then I guess I'll fucking check the basement. No one wants to go down there, okay? All right, that's definitely not it, not it, not it. All right, let's try outside now. Oh, right, right, I can't go that way. Is this door locked? Ah, okay. I guess that means we have to go into the basement? Because I don't think the chair was in the one room upstairs that we could enter, but um... No, there's definitely no chair down here. Okay. Let me go back up. Wait, are these more notes? No. Okay. I guess I'll try back upstairs. Like, maybe that other room is unlocked now. Okay, it's, I just need to find a light switch real quick, though. <sighs> okay. Pretty sure it wasn't in here. That noise sure sounds loud. Maybe because it's in the next room? No, it's still locked. Okay, then I'm not sure what the plan is. I'm not even sure where that banging came from. It kind of seemed like it was the basement door that it came from, but I popped down there and there wasn't anything. But to be fair, I did pop down there really scared, so I didn't really explore much. I'm pretty sure there was no chair in here, and there isn't. The closest thing is the toilet, but the toilet is clearly not the chair we're looking for. I can peek back in here, I guess. Hello, evil monster. Okay, let me look at this card one more time. I just want to confirm it's not one of those chairs that can, like, go back and forth. Or, like, a rocking chair, because we have... A couple rocking chairs that do look kind of similar to this. Okay, it's definitely not a rocking chair. Hmm, okay. Back downstairs. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw a pair of glowing eyes, like that spot right there, but uh, it's just shininess on something. Okay, none of these are the chair, obviously. Oh. Like, where is that coming from? I don't know. Wait, let me check here. Okay, no. Okay, I'll go into the basement and explore more thoroughly in a sec. Let me just... I'm like desperately hoping that what I need is down here. I still can't open that. I don't think I'm just somehow missing the chair. I'm not that dumb, right? I'm even checking to see if any of these windows open up so I can get outside since I think there's a chance the chair could be outside. Okay, that definitely sounded like it came from outside that time. But I can't go outside, so I don't know what the they're doing, why they're harassing me like this. Alright, 
Alright, it is time. Moment of truth. We gotta go down to the basement. Like I said, I really don't see what there's supposed to be down here that's new, but let's see. Okay, I'm down here. I don't see any chair. I can't see anything down here because I don't have a flashlight. Nothing new is triggering. Okay. I'm now like slowly backing up into all the corners that I can. I don't seem to be getting anywhere in particular. Now I'm under the stairs. Alright, I mean, I tried. I was more thorough that time. Yeah, at this point, I don't know. Obviously, I'm, there's something I'm missing. It seems like it's something down here, because like a lot of the activity is happening down here, of things randomly being hammered on and stuff. But um, the chair I need is not here. I can't open either of the doors to get out to look some more. I still have yet to even find what I'm supposed to unlock. So that would be like my next guess is unlock that and then maybe I'll somehow get access to the chair. But um, I haven't come across that thing either that needs to be unlocked. I'm just desperately looking at the same chairs over and over hoping that they'll more- Oh! I had to hide this message so the old lady from the forest wouldn't find it. Be careful with her. She's the reason all the bad things happened. My mom says it's because of that witch I am the way I am, and that's because of her. Dad left. Oh. I mean, that kind of sounded like they ran off to the front door, but obviously we saw no one run off to the front door. Also, like, I was looking for the proper chair. Maybe this is supposed to be the chair, actually. Maybe this counted. Oh. Okay. I mean, it very vaguely resembles the picture, I guess. All right, um, let's see if this opens now. It doesn't. All right, I'll go back upstairs. Oh, okay, that is wide open. I think I- oh, we lost the child already? That's not good. All right, it's okay, we'll find her. I th oh, there's an invisible wall there for a second. Our mic closes behind me for no reason. Okay, great. Oh, we can ride the moose to go get her. Moose, let me on your back. Let me on. No, no, let me on your back. Uh, just let me get on there. No. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. Okay, there's another moose over here. <laughs> there's another moose on here. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, oh, you're trying to stop me too, huh? These moose are kind of like not the buddies I thought they would be. Alright, so hopefully there'll be some sort of path that's open to me so that I can go chase after Maya. And ideally with a fucking flashlight. If you don't mind, game, I would love a flashlight. You'll think about it. Ew, what are these weird squishy noises? Oh, I didn't even notice this. Oops! Did the moose just leave? I think they did. Ha, huh, okay. I had to scare the moose away by showing them that I'm not afraid and will touch a skull all by myself. Alright, so I think um, she ran off this way based off of how she ran right out the front door. I mean, back door. But the issue is, is I can't see anything. But here we go. Oh wait, no. Okay, never mind. Alright, I'm walking. I'm walking blind. I'm hoping for the best. The whispers aren't guiding me very well, but um, we'll see. I'll just keep walking. I don't know if I've hit an invisible wall already. Let me actually try turning around. Oh yeah, I have. I hit an invisible wall like immediately. Okay, I thought I was like making good progress. Delusional of me. Well, we can go this way now, so let's do that, I guess. Now that the moose aren't over here. 
there's also this kind of path a little bit, but once again, I, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be an invisible wall. Yeah. She's not up here, right? Let me just check. Is she- oh, hey Moose! How are you? This would like be a great angle to get on your back from if you stood there. Alright, let me uh- oh shit, hell yeah! Magical path just opened up, we're going. Alright, making progress. I assume that Moose- oh. Okay. Um, I don't know what they want me to make of that. Also, I can't move forward anymore. Oh, hello. Are you the witch that is hurting Maya? Because I need you to stop or they won't pay me. I need to make her better. Okay, I can't see anything anymore, so I guess I'll just back up real quick. Um... Hide in the house? Oh, fuck. Okay, um, I don't know where the entrance is, to be honest with you. Okay, luckily the door's wide open, so I can just get right in here. Okay, I'm in the house, but where do they want me to hide? Do they want me to, like, literally hide, or... I need to lock the main and garden doors quickly. Okay, let me do that. Lock. I'm gonna assume that's the sound of being locked. Lock. Okay, I did it. Now what? I don't know. I feel like locking the doors isn't going to protect us from a magical entity that can walk through walls, but you know, we're optimistic here, so that was silly of me to say. Hmm. Alright, let me uh, go back upstairs. I'm gonna assume at this point that the final door is open, hopefully, because if not, like, how are we supposed to progress? I'll take a peek. Oh god. Okay, that's bothersome. <laughs> okay, I'm glad they still let me turn on all the lights. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, as you can see, locking the doors did nothing. Like, she was- oh, Jesus. Can we- calm down, lights, calm down. But yeah, she was able to get in here, no problem. Alright. I thought we had this doll, unless there's like a second one or we just keep dropping it and she keeps picking it back up. All right, um, uh, I don't really know what else we're supposed to- oh! Oh, the door's open now. Okay. First, let me actually- Okay. All right, now where's the light switch here? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, that's- that's a little bit better. I want to turn back on the bathroom light too, if you don't mind. All right, the more lights on, the happier I am. Alright, let me, uh, get this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, where is it? Here we go. It's extra dark in here. There we go, that's better, that's better. Oh yeah, we still- I keep forgetting about this, we still haven't found that. I assume it's in the last room that we can't access, but like, when are we gonna be able to access it? Now isn't the time. I guess I'm gonna head down- shut up, stop it. Head downstairs... I don't know. I don't really have a new objective, so... Oh, hello, cat. Let's just, uh, get that purring going, if you don't mind. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get this other light on. Alright, I turned on all the lights again, pretty much, I think. So what is the plan now, game? I don't seem to have an objective anymore at the moment, so I don't really know. Oh, oh, well. See, like, this is why a flashlight would be really helpful right now. Darn. 
Is the cat okay? Pretty sure the cat's in on it, but I still want them to be okay. All right, luckily there's a lot of random candles around this house. All right, this front door, I can't open it anyway. Yeah, all the lights are, are shot now. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, I have no idea what our plan is either. Okay, I'm gonna say we're gonna go upstairs or I mean, Maybe we're supposed to head to the basement because the lights actually do seem to be kind of heading towards the basement now that I think about it. Okay, one second. Let me just look. I think this is where the stairs are. Let me look up and see if there are any lights that way. Uh, Not that I can see, so I'm just going to follow these and just assume we're supposed to go to the basement now. It does seem like we're at the end of the game, so it would kind of make sense that it's basement time. I'm like confused as fuck what I'm looking at. I'm actually not sure where I am right now. Uh, okay, okay, that's the fridge. And then over here, and then we turn and the basement should be like this door. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's anything new down here for us. But yeah, I don't think there was a reason to come down here. Okay, so I'm gonna assume we're supposed to go upstairs. Oh god, it's fucking hard to tell, because... <clears throat> can't see anything. Well, let me keep that open, actually, just for the extra light, kind of. To make it easier to tell where I am. Alright, um... So, if the fridge is... Just wondering if the fridge would have some extra light to illuminate. Okay, so the table's here, the back door's there, but I don't think we can exit that way. So we're gonna try going up the stairs, which I think... Oh, one second, I'm actually having the hardest time telling. Oh, can I grab this, actually? Oh! These weren't on to begin with. I thought they were lighted already. I thought they were just really dim. I feel dumb as fuck. Okay. One second, let me go back around turning on all the candles. Okay, that's so much better. I was wondering how the game expected me to do anything. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any candles over here to light, so I guess we won't. Alright, um... And I know that there was this book here to read. Throughout the Middle Ages, many innocent individuals were burned at the stake. However, legend has it that in 1492, a young woman began screaming in an unknown language and casting curses while being burned. Suddenly, everyone gathered around and started hearing terrifying whispers. The woman, partially burned, emerged from the blazing pyre and everyone fled. According to the legend, in the following weeks, the residents were afflicted by a strange epidemic. They began to go insane and their skin turned ashen. As if they had been burned, not much else is known because the Inquisition deemed eyewitnesses of the event who claimed that the witch had cursed them as heretics and sentenced them accordingly. Also, I'm going to drink some water now because my voice is going. Alright, sorry about that. I muted my mic for a sec so I could do that. Alright, let's turn these on real quick. I think this- actually, I'm not sure. I thought I was gonna say, I think this is the kitchen table, but... Okay, it is the kitchen table. Anywhere else we got candles to turn on? Okay, yeah, over here, but I don't think these are too helpful. Okay, things are a little bit better now. Now it's easier to tell what's what. Now let's see if there's a bunch of candles to turn up upstairs too. Turn on upstairs. Alright, luckily there are. Okay, neat, neat. Okay, there's also another couple over here. Perfect. So just like when I'm turning on every room light, I'm just gonna turn on every candle and that's gonna be my main priority right now. Alright, I don't think there's any other candles in here, just these two. This room probably isn't relevant anymore. We'll probably never have to go in there again. All right, there's some on- is this the floor? All right. Ooh, we got like multiple candles in here actually, which makes me think this bathroom's still very relevant. Oh okay, yeah, that's nice. I like that. There's some nice mood night- I mean lighting. All right, now upstairs. Oh. 
Okay. Well. I'm just gonna keep turning these on. Alright, is this thing still here? It is. Let me get to these candles. I guess a little bit better. Alright, I guess, um... Right, the lights don't work. Oh, it says here now. Okay, I'm gonna wait to click that because last time I clicked it, bad things happened, so... Let me just get a bit more lighting in before I deal with that. Alright. Once again, I don't know if it's the same doll or... Alright, nothing happened that time. Unless... Okay. Alright, now that we have all the lights on... Never mind. Okay, now I have no idea what the plan is. As far as I can tell, we've turned on all the lights. Not that that was even the objective. It's not like our objective was you have to turn on all the lights for something to happen. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything else over here. Actually, why am I not just using my lighter as a light source right now? Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go back downstairs. Um, and hope something new triggers? I don't know. Did I happen to notice any candles in the basement to help light it up more? Hmm. I don't know. I wasn't looking for them, but maybe there are. Okay, I'll go back to the basement in case there were candles down there that I can now light that I wasn't aware of before. Actually almost out of firewood it looks like. What am I stuck on? Alright, I'm just confirming there was nothing so late in that area where like the painting is. Okay, that's where the back door is. I'm starting to hear that creaking and stuff again. Okay, I guess I will now try to go in the basement once more and see if I see the distant glowingness of other candles. Oh shit, I think I know what to do now actually. The coffins, they're for the voodoo dolls. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, they came to me at like the very last second. Alright, so I assume this must be the key to enter the final room of this house. It looks like it's a literal skeleton key, so that would mean it should open any door. Alright, it's time. Maybe we'll finally get to meet Maya directly? Right, the lights aren't on. Okay, let's light these candles. Okay. I'm not in love with like the Ouija board being here and all this whispering that is now heightening. Alright, any other lights? Oh, this is a mess in here. Oh, there's a lot more lights. Alright, I'll read these notes and stuff in a second. I just wanna, like I said, my priority is turning on all the lights first. Okay, I think I have gotten all the candles. I do wish there was a bit more lighting in here, but you know. This kind of seems like there's a big coffin there, but it's a little hard to see because of the lack of light. All right, let me read the note over here before I interact with anything else. Every time Maya steps a few feet away from the house, she loses consciousness. We don't take her anywhere because we fear she'll die. Can I can't open any of the hat. Alright, I assume we're supposed to use the Ouija board, but I don't want to. 
Also, I do notice that- okay, there's the note. I was gonna say, I do notice we actually can't interact with the Ouija board anyway, but there's a note next to it, so... As you can see, my mom is trying everything just to help me lift the curse. She has even spoken with spirits, at least that's what she believes. Although it's my dad who sacrificed the most, I miss him. Okay, so her mom is the cause of all of this because she's been trying to talk to the husband but instead was talking to demons and hasn't seen any of the many movies that have told us not to do that, so... I also do notice this paper here. I don't know if they want me to sign a contract again and I would say no thank you to that. Alright, I guess we have no choice and we have to interact with what kind of looks like a giant coffin. Oh, we're moving it. I thought we were opening it. I, I can't see any- oh, it's a secret door! Oh, this was a giant mirror, not a coffin. It's kind of coffin shaped though. Hmm. Like, this looks kind of like an issue, but let's close that behind me. Alright, luckily it's sufficiently lighted. That's good. I like that. Alright, is there more notes here? Hmm, surprisingly there are not. Oh wait, what's this? I just had for a second something I- oh. Just that. Let's turn that back on. It's spooky in here. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any notes. Because I have a feeling that we're at the very end now, so if there's any little bit of lore left what we can nab, I'd like that. Oh, here's the thing that's locked. I was wondering, I was starting to think that it didn't exist. Alright, I have to go through my pictures again, so this might take me a minute. Alright, and I don't have my images ordered either, so... Okay, so I know five was in the middle. That I just remembered off the top of my head, I didn't have to write it down. Alright, and then let's see... Okay, four is supposed to be the first number. I'm not even sure if this is like the right order, as in this counts as the first number, but I'm gonna assume it does. The last number looks like it's nine. And then... Okay, it looks like it's a four again for the second number. And then I think the last number is supposed to be one. Oh, yep. There you go. Okay, what could be in this? I don't know. Okay, before I open it, I just want to guess. Because the only other thing I could think of is that it's like Maya's body. But Maya's been up and about, so I feel like that wouldn't make sense. And the mother's notes have been implying that she's alive. Um. Okay, let's just see. Oh, it's the plant card. Plant, plant shard? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But this is pretty lackluster for this being the big reveal. There is hope. The curse can be lifted. Let me guess, you have to like, use me as a sacrifice for that? Alright. I guess we have to go play with the Ouija board anyway. I was hoping we could avoid it, but the game requires it. Woohoo! We have to relight these? Come on, man, that was rude. Making me put in all this work. Alright, let's do that. I think- oh yeah, here we go. I think there should be another couple to light. Right? Oh yeah, over here. Or at least one, I guess. Okay, that's better, that's better. Okay, I think we are good to go. Alright, let's uh, kill ourselves, I guess. I'm not sure what it's saying, actually. I wasn't paying attention at the very start. Um, it, it's saying something. Okay, O, N, E, 1. Uh, 1 something. Honestly, I can't tell what it's saying. O N E oh. One wish. Oh, okay. Why does it keep saying one wish over and over? Do I need to write that down? Okay, I guess not. 
because it just keeps going to say the same thing over and over. I don't, I don't know what they want me to do about this. Um... I don't know if I'm supposed to just stand here while it spams that and eventually it'll finish and I'll die, but I'd rather like not die. Okay, I can't leave this room. Okay, let me- where's the other door? Oh. Okay. So we saw Maya. I'm, she looked kind of normal. She looked chill. I saw her go off this way. I don't think she came in here, but I just want to take a peek in here real quick, if you don't mind. Alright, she probably went down the stairs. Oh, there she is. Maya, I'm here to help. I can help detangle your hair. We can start there. It'll make you feel good about yourself once you start grooming properly. I'm not sure which way she went, to be honest with you. Um... So dark. She either went this way or maybe towards the basement. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way for now. Maya, are you over here? Oh, the flame finally went out over here. I don't have any more firewood on me. I guess we're gonna have to assume she went to the basement. But like, is there really more to do in the basement? Maya, you here? Little buddy. I don't see her. Um... I don't think she's down here. <gasps> there she is. Oh, she looks kind of spooky though. You good? Like, which Maya are you right now? Oh, there's a note. Mom said I should ask you about this in a poem, so I wrote one. I see your fervent wish to flee. Alas, I comprehend, yet grieve. One wish fulfill and soon you'll see. All shall unravel, clear believe. Gather crimson blooms, trail the woods to where my father's grave abides. Lay flowers there as kindness should, my curse forbids, my soul abides. Will you fulfill this one wish of mine? Will you take flowers to my dad's grave? Find red flowers, take them to the girl's father's grave. <laughs> Look at the face she's making. Bro, she wants to eat me so bad. Oh, she's so cute though. Oh, there's something kind of cute about it. Little feral child, I will help. All right, let's go find some red flowers. Are there some here? No, those are just red pins. So I'm gonna take a look at her cute face one more time before I leave. Okay, I will help, I will try. Okay, red flowers. I mean, you would think they'd be outside, but um, the game's not letting me outside. The game's not even allowing me to see outside, so. I assume then actually what the plan is, is that they're gonna- Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, okay, good, I was gonna say. Oh shit, hell yes! It took the very end of the game, but they finally got me a flashlight. Ha, ah, that is nice. Look at this. This is so much better. I can do anything now. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the flowers are outside. We'll go outside. But as I was saying before I was interrupted by the ghost woman, I'm pretty sure their plan is to resurrect their father then with me. Which, you know, is kind of rude. She should focus more on fixing her daughter and not the dead father, but... Whatever. Just one? Oh, I guess, okay. Oh, I heard a squishy noise. Okay, which way though? I don't know. I can go any way I want because I have a flashlight. I guess we'll try this way first. Okay, there's an invisible wall still. Alright. I guess we'll try to go back to where uh, that time the mooses were being silly. And there was like a path that revealed itself. Oh, there it is. I just- I have to go the long way around. Okay, one second. We have to go back this way and then I can go back and follow the uh, little fence back over here. Alright, here we go. I assume there's a graveyard around here? I don't- I don't know. 
Oh, is this it? No. I guess we'll just keep walk- oh, there's an invisible wall there, though. Follow the forest path to Maya's father's grave. There isn't, like, much of a path, though, to follow. Um, I guess I'm gonna try this way, since it's the only way I can go. It does seem to be getting louder in this direction, so I'm gonna assume we're going the right way. We're trying. Oh, I don't like these noises. Why are all the animals upset? Shouldn't they, like, be happy that I'm finally doing what they want? Like, all their plans are coming to fruition. They should, like, calm down a bit. Alright, I see some light up ahead. Hopefully this isn't me just accidentally circling back to the house. Alright, I'm trying. Okay. Is this it? Let me read this real quick. Light the candles and tidy up the grave. As dawn breaks and shadows flee, the curse transfer set both souls free. Oh, that actually does imply maybe the daughter would also be saved? I don't know. Which if that's the case, then it's kind of a more worthwhile sacrifice, I guess. To lift the curse from one soul, two must make a pledge. One giving life, the other the curse they'll hedge. <sighs> Doesn't sound good for us. Alright, I think that's it for the candles. Now we're supposed to tidy up. Which I assume means just, yeah, do that. Place flowers in the vases on the grave. Okay, I assume these. Okay. I don't feel well. My skin, I feel like it's burning. What's happening to me? My flashlight, it's failing. Oh. Oh. It's going black. Oh, the cat! Oh, this isn't so bad. We get to chill with these people from now on. Can I, can I pet the cat still? I can't. That's a little bit of a downgrade. I'll read this note in a second. I'm just admiring her beauty. Alright, see what we got here. To lift a curse from one soul, two must make a pledge. One giving life, the other the curse they'll hedge. A written vow to aid with desire fulfilled one minute spent at night in the curse-bound house chilled. As dawn breaks and shadows flee, the curse transfer set both souls free. A soul given, a soul embraced in the dance of fate. Curses intertwine like night and day, intertwine like fate. The witch bears witness as time flows like verse. When the magic rituals fulfills and the curse dissipates in the hand's gentle traverse. Okay. And? Can I pet the cat now? Like, you mind? Oh, like you probably guessed, I agree to lift Maya's curse and Maya returned to being a normal girl. Her mom just left with her. Congratulations on your courage and sacrifice, young man. Thanks. At least she appreciates me. <laughs> She's so happy. Good. I'm a hero. Alright. Oh, there's another note. They keep appearing. I agreed to lift the curse only if I receive two souls in exchange for one. For the first, I demanded a sacrifice of life. Mia's father committed suicide. I accepted this sacrifice. However, the second person must take on the curse. There's a written contract on the table which you signed yourself. Oh. Oh no. I was like, oh, this isn't gonna hold up in court. But I guess it holds up in the court of witches. You sealed it by spending the night in the same house as the cursed person and fulfilling one of their wishes. As the undersigned- yeah, this is what I signed earlier. I accept the sacrifice. From now on, your soul is mine. You become cursed. You will never die, but your body will slowly turn into ashes and dust. You will experience slowly throughout eternity what I experienced when I was burnt at the stake as a young witch in 1492. Why does this make you happy? We could just be buddies instead. You want to play some games? I have like some board game somewhere. The end. And I, I'm pretty sure that's the only ending there is to this game. So yeah, that was that. I mean, I liked it. It had a story for once that was like cohesive and significant unlike a lot of games I've been playing lately. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!